Hello guys and welcome again to another episode of the Bola Bola Show's take on the UEFA Champions League fantasy football game. So we hope that you really enjoy the previous episodes that we made for you guys and you know, thank you for all your support and do like, share and subscribe. Uh, whenever you come across this channel, these videos, if you like, give us a thumbs up, click on that subscribe button and the notification bell and we would really appreciate all your support you are giving us so that we can make more videos of this time for you guys. So today guys, you know, we're going to get into our match day 4 team and also talk a bit about the match day 3 but basically just focus on the match day 4 and let's see how things goes. So jump on board guys, let's go. Hey guys. And uh, before we go into our squad and check out what's our plans for match day four, we would like to, you know, get into our Bola Bola League and see what's going on there. You know, it has been getting quite a lot of traction and basically let's check out what has been happening in the league. So as you can see here, you know, the Bola Bola League now, when I get into the league, basically, you know, we have got more participants joining on board and it has been indeed a fantastic, you know, showing from uh, most of them, I would say, you know, there are some of them who still, uh, you know, need some help around here and there. But basically, you know, overall things are indeed going very well. And, you know, this week we'd like to give a big shout out to Paga Misa FC and Mr. Craig Jenneker. Craig Jenneker, you know, well, thank you indeed for commenting on our, on our post and, you know, sharing your thoughts as well with us and indeed fantastic man congratulations you had an awesome match day three 98 points there with a total of 237 let's get into craig's team and see what happened there so if you if you get into craig's team as you can see craig activated his wild card he has already used his limitless so basically you know he's playing all his chips he's playing all his chips well indeed i would say you know craig Except for your match day one, uh, where you had about 56 points, your match day two and match day three has been consistent, good enough for you and to actually, you know, bring you to 237 points in a top 10k ranking is awesome, you know, to actually lead our league and just what, you you, you took our advice on Adeyemi, well, he got you six points there, that's great. Uh, and fantastic, if you look at your squad there, Benzema is your captain, earned you 18 points. Uh, Salah is always in the team there and that's great as well and you know the star I would think that really performed very well in match day 3 was Leroy Sané and on our Bola Bola show we made a mistake there by not picking Sané uh, because his price was just the same as uh, and, uh, Chiesa, right? Federico Chiesa at 9 million but just look at Sané how consistent he is and this is definitely a contemplating point for us now to really move forward with him because Sané's time in Bayern it took him a while to get started to get rolling but he's on fire and he's really on fire in the champions league and you know with this kind of results and with the benfica mirror coming again you know it, 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 it's just awesome and indeed a good choice of selection there craig for your pagamiza fc and all the best moving forward indeed and basically if you go back into our league again you know Anna Bapa is still maintaining his spot there in, I mean it's still in the top two you know he was leading our league before and then Craig has now overtaken him but you know it's pretty close as you can see there keep it up guys have fun it's all for fun here and you know thanks indeed for joining our league and do let your friends know about our league uh, the descriptions of the league are still there you know people can still join on board and let's compete here in this league it's all for fun right enjoy guys and then our next segment will move into what happened and what to look forward in match day four thank you and guys you know this is how our bola bola team did in match day three as i was just mentioning earlier when i was talking about craig's team for the Misa fc where he, he, he selected um, leroy sunny for that value we actually gave him 18 points and, and he was not even captain 18 points and just look at us here we decided to go with this guy, Chiesa, at the same value, even though he's matched at 2 year 11, but we expected more from him against Zenit. The 90 minutes played and only contributed 3 points. So, you know, there are some decisions to be made in match day 4, but basically, you know, definitely needs improvement here for our team. Jacko did show up and, uh, you know, it was good that we put him, put him as a captain there to get to get some rewards there. Adeyemi came through, he did score a goal. Uh, Kimmich also did well, so but basically improvements need to be done here, and you know we will we will try to get them done 
as best as we can for match day four. But this is how we did. Uh, we are not too happy about it, but you know, it's a game anyway. We'll try our best and let's see how we roll. So guys, we are doing it. We are going ahead to do maximum transfer as possible as we can because we really need a turnaround in our league. And also for the team, who is doing pretty average thus far. So we decided, I mean, you just, just have a look at what we have here. You know, we are in going to take a minus 40 point hit. And of course, with a negative remaining budget, but we were contemplating, you know, wild, wild card or limitless. But when, you, but when we thought about it deeper, we would rather keep the wild card for match day six. And why I say that for match day six is because match day six, uh, some of the big teams may have already qualified. They are going to be putting second stringers or backup players and all this. So wild card, while you can make unlimited transfers in that wild card, you are still capped to the value of the player. So if you get backup players for lower value, it's good to actually utilize them during the wild card. But limitless on the other end, the word says it all, right? Limitless. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bang the limitless chip here for this round. And our selection process here is just basically going for the blue chips, I would say, for most of the teams out there. And guys that we really personally feel that for match day four are going to perform even the defenders that we decided to select, as you can see there. Well, let's start from the from the goalkeeper first. So the selection process that we do is we, we select each player playing on two different match days. So if one doesn't do well, the other one backs him up for the, for the next match day. And that's why we went for Mendy and Putwa. And, you know, we were tempted to go for Neuer here. But basically, Neuer, if, I, if we put in Neuer, then it's going to, we only get three slots for buy-in players. So we'd rather use them for other players, which we'll see later. So the, the overall selection process would be like this. There will be players playing on two different match days where we have the flexibility to rotate, right? But basically, you know, this is where you have it, guys. So the team is filled with defenders who have attacking potentials, as well as I always mentioned, you know, the flying wing back goal here and players who defense who actually go up to midfield players like Kimmich, right? So if you look at all our defenders we have here, we have Cancelo, David Alaba, Alessandro, Ben Chilwell. Chilwell is really on fire for Chelsea. He's assisting, he's scoring since he got back into the lineup from Alonso, taking over the left wing back goal from Alonso. And you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a no-brainer here to select Chilwell, even though his value is not the most expensive out there for defenders, uh, but we are going for him. And then if you go into the midfield, you know, it just let, let's have a look at all the blue chips. Of course, Salah is the, the player, the most on-form player in the world right now. So we can't, you know, we can't remove him. Of course, he's a must to have there. Sani, as I mentioned earlier, is in the team now. We swapped him for we, we decided to remove Federico Chiesa and bring in Sane. KDB. And in fact, if you notice, there's also Mares in the team. For us, you know, we are we we really feel that these Man City guys are gonna come through in this round. And KDB with this value, you know, you can't just get a uh, a midfield. You can't just get a midfield with all these value players stacked up like that. So it had to be basically going for the top-notch guys in a limitless kind of way, right? So that's why KDB is there. Kai Havertz is there because uh, he's definitely, Tuchel is going to play without Lukaku, who's still injured, and Havertz would be playing in the false nine of the front nine role, and definitely goal scoring potential over there as well. And, uh, and and the reason why we went for Havertz, even though there are lots of talk out there about him, because uh, when Lukaku went out uh, in the last Premier League match day against Norwich, when uh, Chelsea, completely tore Norwich apart, 7-0. Uh, Havertz, people thought, okay, when you look at the score, 7 nil. Lukaku is not playing. Was Havertz on the score sheet? No. But but the thing is, uh, you know, he contributed bits and pieces here and there, but he's definitely going to do, he really feel he's going to do well in this Champions League match day, to cover for the Lukaku position in his midfield role. They're going for him. Up front, there's, you know, no need for the introduction on these guys. Lewandowski, Lewandowski, Lionel Messi getting back on form as well and Haaland. 
who did not perform well against AX in the first match day, uh, the first mirror of the match day, uh, pretty sure is going to do well against AX in the second match. The AX defense, though, we need to be wary, but I would say Haaland will definitely get something out of this. So, guys, you know, you're going for it. You're not going to take the 40.8, going for the button, and activating limitless. And, you know, the thing is, we hope that the same thing applies. You guys can go ahead as well. And it's active now, as you can see. Uh, you know, you guys can do this, or you guys can decide whichever signings you want to do for for your match day four. But basically, we hope that we give you some tips here about using limitless and wildcard. You may have uh, your comments may differ on this. You know, please do do let us know uh, on, on your comments below. And what do you think about this? And get more friends on board the league. Yeah. Share the share the code and let's see how it goes and good luck guys for match day four this is our team we hope your team does well too all the best stay safe